Okay, so this is Z Star Academy from Legend 22's channel on YouTube. The episode is called Training to Become a Super Saiyan. Uh, as always, for these reviews, I will put a link in the description um, that goes to the episode that I'm reviewing and another link uh, going to Legend's channel. So, um, last time I did episode 1, this is episode 2, obviously, uh, this is where, this is like, I think it was a little bit longer than episode 2, it felt like it was longer, it had more fight scenes, and, um, what do you call it, more character development, and, more, and other characters were introduced in this episode, uh, and I feel, uh, it was, it was, you know, it's, it was pretty good too, this episode. Uh, there, there isn't really much of a bad thing on this episode, uh, but let's get into it. So, basically, Kobayashi, which is, you know, the main protagonist, he meets up with, uh, Virus, the guy who he fought, the, the pink ranger looking motherfucker. He, uh, met him in the, in the bamboo forest, and, uh, Virus apparently became fucking green ranger or whatever, because he was wearing the goddamn Gohan tracksuit, you know, the weak Gohan tracksuit. Um... So, but, uh, anyways, they then go to, like, a waterfall or whatever, where apparently Virus's father, he had forced him to become a Super Saiyan, uh, some time ago. And, uh, I mean, that's, like, a little bit of a backstory for Virus, sort of. I mean, we learned that, you know, his dad made him, uh, or taught him to become Super Saiyan, sort of. Uh, and, um, so, anyways, fucking, while they were talking... Elder Kai reaches out to Kobayashi, uh, and he tells him and Virus to go and talk to him near, um, the Z-Star Academy. So, they all go, and, uh, there they meet other people besides Elder Kai. There's, um, Vegiku, you know, the one from last episode, the, the giant with his weaker voice. Um, and, uh, fucking him and, uh, Kobayashi were kind of getting in, getting in, like, a little argument, sort of. It was pretty funny. I, I enjoyed that little interaction between the two. Um, but there, there are three other guys there as well. There's, um, their names are Gokon, Hunter, and Sam. Those are, those are guys that have yet to be introduced until now, anyway. Um, so, Elder Kai states that all of, all of those guys there will be in the upcoming tournament. So, you know, that, that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, it, it's called the Tournament of Students. So, you know, that's pretty interesting, I guess. And um, Elder Kai then assigns each of them mentors, apparently. So they're all going to get their own mentors. And they're going to learn some abilities, and you know, to prepare for the upcoming tournament. So, you know, that, that's pretty that's pretty cool, you know. Uh, I was pretty interested to find out who would um, get who, you know. <clears throat> And, um, so, uh, Kobayashi, he gets Gohan, which is the, the son of Goku from Dragon Ball Z and Super, uh, which is pretty cool, I guess, you know, um, Gohan gets training under Goku, you know, shit, dude, he gets, like, well, like, basically the strongest person in, you know, on Earth, I guess, I mean, if you count Vegeta, I guess, but Vegeta's always getting the L, so I don't think you could count him. Uh, Hunter gets Cell, which is very surprising that Hunter would get would get a person like Cell. Sam gets goddamn Whis of all people. Like, Sam, like honestly, in my opinion, uh, Sam's like my least favorite in the whole thing of the Z Star Academy people. You know, the students. Sam's the least favorite for me. Yet he gets a god like Whis, an actual god, not a, not a fucking, not a, like, half god like Goku and Vegeta, no, an actual god like Whis, like an angel, basically, the god of destruction bears his attendant, like, how, what the hell happened there, <laughs> like, wow, um, and Virus gets fucking Raditz, the fuckboy Raditz, the, the Yamcha of the Saiyans, he gets Raditz, and you can hear Virus in the background, like, all excited and shit, <laughs> like, why would he be so excited with, to get Raditz? I mean, Raditz is like the weakest one of, that everyone got. And Vegiku gets both Vegeta and Tien. So, you know, that, that's pretty weird how Vegiku got two people. And one's OP, which is Vegeta, and the other's not really OP, but, 
you know, he's a pretty good strategist, I guess, TN. But yeah, I'm just, I'm surprised. Like, I'm honestly surprised that Sam got Whis, Hunter got Cell, Varus got Raditz, and Vegiku got two people. And apparently, Elder Chai stated that uh, Sam is indeed stronger than everyone. Basically stronger than Kobayashi, Virus, Vegiku, Gokan, and Hunter. Like, so apparently Sam is the strongest, what? <laughs> I mean, honestly, I thought Gokan would, would be the strongest or whatever. And yes, during during the season, Gokan was my favorite. But I honestly thought he was, you know, going to be the strongest. Or even Virus. But, but Sam... I mean, we haven't seen Sam fight yet, but still, it's it's pretty weird. And there's also a meme going around that Sam's like, I forgot who started. I believe it was um, Austin. He started calling Sam a pedophile, and I guess it, and it, it went from there. And now I call him a pedophile too. And basically, Sam's like Sam's a pedophile. He goes after little kids and shit. <laughs> but um, yeah. So it's kind of weird how Sam's the strongest at this point. Anyway, I mean, maybe he could he'll go down, but we'll see. But um. Yeah, I, I can't believe that's it. like a what the fuck kind of deal. And apparently, Kobayashi and Hunter cannot go Super Saiyan yet. They are the only ones to not go Super Saiyan. The other four, indeed, can go Super Saiyan. You know, they they went Super Saiyan before and whatnot. They know the abilities. They can even go up to Super Saiyan three, but not Hunter and not um Kobayashi. So you know, obviously, those two are like the weakest, I guess. But we'll see what happens to them. But anyways, um. Gokan, he acts like he's the strongest, but like, you know, Phil Kai says Sam's the strongest, and Sam's the goddamn strongest, apparently. <laughs> and, um, Phil Kai was like being like a perd and shit, he was like saying some weird shit. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, the others, they, they get to know each other while Kai leaves, um, they talk to each other, they're conversing and whatnot, um... And they even give uh, Kobayashi and Hunter tips on how to become a Super Saiyan. Like they give them advice, like like all their like on how they got to become Super Saiyan and whatnot, you know. Uh, they then go to the infamous hyperbolic time chamber, which was you know seen in both Dragon Ball Z and and Super. I don't know if it was seen in GT. Oh, I think it was in Dragon Ball, but it, it was never shown. Um, where um they they enlist Goku's help to uh, show Kobayashi and Hunter how to transform into a Super Saiyan through anger. Yes, that is the um, basically the, the key to become a Super Saiyan. You have to transform through anger and rage. You have to feel the anger in your heart in order to transform. And um, there's also another way to go Super Saiyan, but I guess they don't know it yet or whatever. They don't know. Uh, and you know the other way is kind of I don't like that other way, so I won't mention it. But you know the anger way is much cooler. Um. So Goku then go like, shows his Super Saiyan forms, and he even goes up to Super Saiyan three, and he, he then goes on to attack Virus, like rest in peace, Virus. Right? You know Virus is gonna get knocked the hell out, and they end up sparring or whatever. And um, so Kobayashi and Hunter take the time to. Uh, Learn to transform, and Kobayashi, excuse me, he's like struggling, he's uh, he doesn't know how, I mean, he does know how, but he's trying to get mad, but he can't do it, he can't feel it yet. Um, then all of a sudden he thinks of a certain creature that, um, that had apparently killed his parents when Kobayashi was a little child. And uh, uh he, that, that the creature was Janimba, and upon thinking of him, Kobayashi gets very angry, and, and from that point, he transformed transforms into a super saiyan so honestly that right there was like a, a very cool moment right there for kobayashi i mean he he didn't get like he got angry and he finally got to become a super saiyan which is good i mean we get to witness him learn a new transformation unlike the others like all the rest who already have super saiyan we didn't get to see them transform so therefore we don't or i don't quite care about them yet like really but kobayashi upon seeing him do that you know that that, that gives that shows that you know he can do it too, you know, and you can see him, you could see his journey to become one of the strongest people in Z-Star, um, which is great, and um, I caught, that was a very good moment, honestly, but <laughs> then Yukine, all of a sudden, which is Yukine, if you don't know who that is, he is a, a member, not yet introduced yet, but there are talks that he could be in Z-Star Academy sometime in the future, he could be, um, and he was also from another 
um, RP, but I won't get into that. Uh, what do you call it? He one 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 day he just he goes on his phone in a party, and he basically plays this episode, and he he plays the Kobayashi scream, which then became the Kobayashi meme scream. You know, obviously made popular by Yukon Eight, and pretty much almost everyone uses it, including myself. I like to use it bump like a couple of times and you know I just get a laugh it's pretty fucked up but you know it, it's hilarious um but uh yeah and and so you know Kobayashi he's a full super saiyan now at this point at this point so he's gonna try to learn how to use how to utilize this this transformation so he gets into a sparring match with everyone else and pretty much everyone's like fighting each other and whatnot using the super saiyan forms except uh for um hunter he has not yet attained the transformation just yet he's the last one to not go super saiyan um so and uh, and vegigu he got wrecked or was it sam i forgot which i think it was sam because they have different hairstyles but um vegigu is more spiky and sam's more is more like short like it's spiky but wild a little bit more wild you know it's not more it's not really that straight but uh, it was probably sam <laughs> Like he was, he was lying face to the to the floor. He was just knocked the hell out. <laughs> he got he got knocked the hell out or something because he was there for a long, long time. I don't know what happened. Something happened off screen, but apparently he was knocked off, like knocked out. Like rest in peace. Like apparently he like he was the strongest. Look at look at the strongest now. Everyone's still up, but him. Like what the hell happened there? Um, but uh, anyways, <laughs> um. Virus uh, and Kobayashi, they end up facing off. Kobayashi wants to get to actually fight full force against Virus. Virus uh, then goes as a Super Saiyan 3, and Kobayashi obviously is still a Super Saiyan. They fight, they continue fighting. Pretty good fight. Um, soon, Hunter finally goes Super Saiyan. He didn't really, he, he didn't really give an, a reason for why he transformed. He just transformed, you know, which is, which is odd. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it'll be... Uh, explain sometime soon who knows or maybe you know the the plot doesn't really care about hunter right now who knows i hope that's not the case uh but anyways hunter then challenges virus so he so basically hunter tries to cock block kobayashi and tries to fight virus for himself but virus ends up ignoring hunter rest in peace and uh you can even see sam in like the background while while kobayashi and virus are fighting and sam's still knocked the hell out like what the hell <laughs> it's so funny dude um like uh, he was the strongest style uh, like wow <laughs> um and kobayashi he, he does another meme scream while he performs the super kamehameha wave which was a pretty cool moment too that he did the did that move but ultimately it didn't even hit virus i believe it, it missed entirely oh no wait, i think it hit him a little bit but yeah he even did, he did the meme scream while he did it but it wasn't as long as his transformation and um while fighting Vegiku, Mud, he learns Super Saiyan 2. So all, so at that point right there he ends up becoming stronger than Kobayashi, like bam, that it took him that like it was that quick for him to become, you know, faster stronger than Kobayashi. Because Kobayashi has yet to obtain Super Saiyan 2 and, and Vegiku just did it right off the bat. Like that was weird. But hey, you know, I mean if you want to make <laughs> Gohan, Vegeta and Goku look weak as hell then by all means. Um he even goes Super Saiyan 3. I mean, it took Goku, like, seven years in the other world to become Super Saiyan 2 and even Super Saiyan 3. And even at that point, he didn't really know how to use Super Saiyan 3 all that well. So, like, and, and, and Vegiku just, or excuse me, not Vegiku, Hunter, he just does it in, like, less than a day. You know, like, wow, like, what the hell happened there? Um, I guess power levels are indeed bullshit, but <laughs> anyways um but still good for mud he you know hunter he actually got to go to super saiyan 3 that quick i can tell right there he has the potential right there i mean i doubt any of the other people got from super saiyan 1 to super saiyan 3 in like less than like 10 out or 10 or a day and i don't know how long they were in the in the hyperbolic time chamber in terms of the time chamber you know uh time frame because obviously it's like a lot different than the regular earth time frame but um yeah i i seriously doubt all the others could have done that what what hunter did there so you know obviously he could right there be the very the very strongest and i hope that would be the case because i see he has plenty of potential 
And so, you know, also that makes Koyashi look really bad because he can't even go past Super Saiyan. He barely has Super Saiyan. He can't even, you know, go past it. Rest in peace. But I have a feeling Kobayashi will get there soon, I guess. Um, Kobayashi then gets attacked by Vegeku. Vegeku wants to fight Kobayashi too. And they fight while Virus and Goku fight. Goku ends up going right at Virus for whatever reason. They all end sparring soon after Kobayashi passes out against Vegeku. Rest in peace. I guess the stamina got to him. Um, it would, er, he wait, excuse me. Kobayashi then like comes back into consciousness and he is like back in, in front of the school and um what do you call it? Odakai congratulates them all and sends them to their respective mentors. That's pretty much the end of that right there. That's the end of episode two. Honestly, um it was a it was a great episode. I didn't I didn't really have any complaints. I did you know it, it was pretty cool. Great uh character development for Kobayashi. I mean we got to learn of his a little bit of his past and apparently that his his uh, family members were killed, so I guess Kobayashi was or is still an orphan. You know, you got the feels for Kobayashi. Uh, you got a little bit of virus um, of his background, of his past, because, you know, he said that um, his father had forced him to go Super Saiyan. So, you know, that, that's, that's pretty sad for Virus right there. Um, and, you know, three more main characters were introduced uh, Gokan, Sam, and Hunter, and apparently. Sam is indeed the strongest of the lot, and uh, and and it's also confirmed that all six of these people will be in the upcoming um, tournament of students. So you know that's going to be hype. Um, I don't know where they're going to go from there at that point on episode you know three, what they would do from there, but um, everything is pretty good. I mean, I have to say the the person of this episode was obviously Kobayashi. I mean, he he showed more promise. Or, or, like, as in, in, in terms of, um, his story and whatnot, if, if it was, if it was just for, like, strength alone, it'd be, you know, Hunter, but Hunter hasn't really, you know, it, they didn't show how he became a Super Saiyan, like, or why he became a Super Saiyan, and, um, he hasn't explained his past, neither has Gokan and, and Vegeku and Sam, so, you know, I'm not really, I'm, I'm not really emotionally invested in those characters just yet. I am, so far, it's just Kobayashi and Virus who have explained themselves just a little bit. It's a little bit, but still, it's something at least. Um, and I see great promise within all of them, pretty much. Let's just see how it, how it goes and how the story develops from there at that point. Um, and honestly, when I was watching this episode for the first, you know, for the first time, I was like, where do they go from here? Like, what's going to happen now? And, you know, so, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Out of a rating, out of 1 through 10, I give it a 5.2. It is a lesser rating than the last episode. Uh, that was because, what do you call it? I don't know. They, I guess they spent too much time in the time chamber. And, you know, that's fine. It's just, you know, I, I wasn't really that invested in the episode like I was for episode 1. But nonetheless, episode 2 was still good. Episode 2 showed more character development, so that's a good thing as well. Uh, let's just see how episode 3 will go soon when i make the next review and i will talk about it in depth and whatnot um and uh yeah that's pretty much gonna be it you guys uh thank you for watching and uh leave a like if you want and subscribe for more reviews and uh catch you guys in the next episode later